Hello, <laughs> hopefully I'm now transmitting <laughs> live. Um, hello, welcome to the concert. Um, welcome. Um, I really hope there's some people out there who can hear this. And thank you for being here. Um, um, I'm in Vodama. 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 It's really lovely to have your company tonight and I'm very excited to be here for my first ever live streaming concert. So um, if any of you feel like sending me a few messages or something to show that you can actually hear this, that would be lovely. And then that'll reassure me that I'm actually talking to, to somebody. Um, so thank you for coming along. I'm going to be playing a few tunes beside my, my fire here. And um, it's amazing to be able to invite you all into my living room. <laughs> this is a totally new experience for me. It's wonderful to be in my absolute favourite place in the world. Oh, there's some messages coming through. That's good. OK, some people can hear me. So it's lovely to be in my absolute favourite place in the world, which is here in this valley, and be able to give a concert at the same time and to share it with you all. That's um, incredible. So fair play to technology. <laughs> so I'll, um, I'm going to be playing these um, mainly traditional Celtic tunes tonight, um, a few classical ones on the big harp, um, some jazzier things as well. And I really hope you're going to enjoy just a moment of connection, really. That's what I'm hoping tonight is going to be, um, because for myself, I've spent the last two months almost entirely alone <laughs> up here, living a bit like a hermit. Um, my only companions have been sheep and hares and swallows <laughs> and uh, bats. I don't think it's turned me completely batty or loopy yet, but um, that's probably a matter of opinion. <laughs> but it's I've been really missing that connection that you get through live music. And I don't think there's anything like that link um, when I'm playing a piece of music and I can feel the emotions just linking to somebody else in the audience. So I'm hoping that I might get some of that feeling tonight and we can just connect through the music um, all around, to people all around the world. All of us are connected. I know there's people tuning in from America and Germany and um, all around um, the UK. So it's amazing to have your company here in my living room <laughs> so i'm going to play you some tunes i'm going to start off with um a set of three tunes um sorry mindy i'll be talking a bit of welsh as well as english um this evening i hope that's okay for all of you tuned in internationally but normally when i give a concert here in wales i'd, I'd like to do it bilingually so i thought i'd do tonight in the same way uh, my degree was in in welsh and irish and scots gaelic um, Celtic languages, so I like using them <laughs> whenever I can. So, and Gymraeg, you bowed some Shara Gymraeg when in Mimundi Dachreg is a Tridarn Gohanel, um, a Rin Kentav Eu Slipjig, Gan Patrick Davy, or Warthon, um, a Coedin Viwadi Kuran Sodi, a Rin and a Canol, um, Tune or Eno Disquilliad, a Karin Olav, um, Sin Tune Gan Pibiv, James O'Grady. Or Eno Kananaskis. So I'm going to play you three tunes. The first one is by the amazing Patrick Davy from Northern Ireland. And I'm very grateful that he's given me permission to use his tune. I was firing off a load of emails last night <laughs> asking people for permission to use their tunes. Uh, and everyone's been so kind and generous and said that they're all delighted for me to play their tunes. And I really appreciate that. So thanks, Patrick. And this is his fantastic tune, Flying to the Flower. A flower, for those of you who don't know, is an Irish music competition. And it's normally a big festival and fiesta of feast of um, traditional Irish music with lots of sessions. And of course, sessions have been one of the things we can't have at the moment. And I'm really missing playing tunes with all my Irish musician friends. I know some of you are listening right now. So um, I'll play this one for you. So it's Flying to the Flower and then my own tune called The Expectation Reel. Let's expect some slightly better times at the moment. That's what we need, need to hold in mind. 
and the final tune is called Kananaskis and it's by a piper James O'Grady. So there's a little bit of a bell theme in this set of tunes in my arrangement. I used to play this in schools concerts and I get the children to imagine listening to bells. So you'll hear a bit of a bell theme at the beginning and particularly at the end. But the tunes are Flying to the Flower, Expectation Reel and Canonascus. So here we go. <laughs> transmitting and um, people can hear me um, I can see a few messages coming through and it looks like looks like some people are hearing me so that's that's brilliant 
So I'm going to play another tune that was recently composed. Um, and the Wedda, um, an Aral band. Ac, my Rhaid Ac 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 wedi bod mewn cysylltiad heddi i ddweud fod yn iawn i fi canu i'r dan um, a mae wedi bod yn hyfryd cael y negeseion ma of wrth y cyfansoddwyr. It's been really lovely to have these um, permission from all these different people to play their tunes um, tonight. Um, it's been quite special to suddenly get in touch with all the composers after years of playing their tunes and loving their tunes. So the next tune I was talking to Ian Lothian earlier on today and he gave his permission for me to use the tune. He composed it for a harp player called Emma and it's Emma's Waltz and it's definitely, it's for years it's been one of my all-time favourite pieces, this one. I'm hoping it might be on the next solo album which I have finally, during this strange lockdown time, I've thought, right, I'm going to set aside a bit of space to do some recording. So in a fortnight, um, I'm not teaching any Skype lessons for the week and I'm going to be doing some recording of, um, for another solo album. So this tune, I hope, <laughs> with Ian's permission, is going to be, be definitely one I'd like to record. So this is Emma's Waltz by Ian Lothian. And it's a beautiful calming tune which i know in all my skype lessons i've been trying to find calming tunes at the moment i think we all need to use music just to ah, <laughs> relax okay here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, Diochen Vauriam. Thank you very much. <laughs> I suppose I'd better check some of these messages, just check that everyone's saying that um, they can they can hear things. Um, oh, it looks like, looks like people can hear. Oh, that's really lovely. Okay, great. <laughs> that's all I need to know. <laughs> so, um, if you've just joined, um, my name's Harriet Iris, Harriet Iris Zui. Um, uh, the Urthamoth, Evod Amma, and Nade um, live streaming um, concert, Amatro Kansav Erioid. So, if you've just joined, um, I'm my name's Harry Dears. I'm delighted to be here doing a live streaming concert for the first time ever. It's a brand new experience for me, <laughs> and I've been really enjoying watching some lovely live streaming concerts over the last month or so. Um, particularly enjoyed um, a couple by Martha Tilston, the folk singer, and it really inspired me to want to have a go myself. Just, I think I've been really missing giving concerts. It's probably the first time in my whole career as a musician that I've had a whole two months without giving a concert. And it's, yeah, there's nothing quite like this feeling of, of connection through music. So thank you for being here and giving me that <laughs> that feeling again it's amazing after after two months more or less by myself up here to suddenly have the majority of my friends and family <laughs> joining me in my living room <laughs> it's it's a bit overwhelming but it's absolutely lovely so thank you for being here i'm going to play you a welsh tune next um so dyma alaw eitha hen um mae'n dod o'r Inved ganrif ar bymtheg ac enwy darn yw dŵr glan. So I'm going to play you a tune called dŵr glan, which means pure water. And it comes from the 16th century, 1500s, um, so Elizabethan times. But I've given it quite a modern arrangement. And it's leading into a couple of tunes that will be familiar to all you um, trad heads out there, all the traditional music enthusiasts who are listening in, um, I'm sure you'll know the, the last two tunes very well. There's an Irish jig called The Dusty Windowsill. Um, it's by John Harling from um, the States, but it's become a really standard session tune. And then a jig version of the Scottish piping tune, The Clumsy Lover, which if there's any pipers out there, you probably know it with lots of different parts, but I've got a, a two part version and you'll hear it as a jig and then as a reel. And this set is actually one that I've been playing since the late 90s without the Welsh tune on the front. But um, this was a set that we used to play with my band, um, the band I used to play with, Shanta in London. And if any members of Shanta are, are listening in, hello. <laughs> and um, I wanted to say that I'm so grateful to Shanta for getting me started on Irish music. Um, I, my background was classical harp, as you'll hear in a minute when I switch to the classical harp. And then I had a gap year before I went to university and was invited to join, um, first of all, West London Cultus, the Irish music organisation in West London run by the wonderful Marion Gill. And I started learning tunes and competing in some of the flowers, the Irish music competitions with her. And after just a couple of rehearsals with West London Cultus, I got asked to join Shanta, this six piece Irish band. And we're still together to this day, still doing concerts. And I really learned everything from the band. Um, and it gave me the idea that I could be a professional musician because all through university, I was earning money from gigs with the band. And it really propelled me into a new direction of playing, playing traditional music, folk music. So this is a set that goes right back to Shanta days in the late 90s. But first of all, you'll hear, you'll hear this Welsh tune, um, which is one I've actually recorded on the latest trio album with my trio. Um, and we recorded it with a poem by the Welsh poet Einir Jones. In Trina Mussin Shara Kamrai, Fashlechin Gubodam Einir Jones, Mahin Varv Gwich, really worth. Um, she's a fantastic poet and worth checking out if you, you don't know her. And she um, read a poem onto this track for us on the trio CD. Um, but you've, you've got the solo harp version just now. So Dur Glan, old Welsh tune with a modern arrangement. And then going into the dusty windowsill, 
and The Clumsy Lover. <laughs> I 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that was the clumsy lover. And before that, the dusty windowsill. Um, I decided at the start of lockdown that I would tidy the house and clean it all and dust all my windowsills <laughs> um, at the, on the first rainy day. And the first rainy day has been today and I've been too busy practicing to, <laughs> to do any dusting whatsoever. So there's plenty of dusty windowsills around here. Um, but I've just been really enjoying living more or less out of doors in all this fantastic weather. Um, I felt incredibly lucky to have all this space around me. Um, my nearest neighbour is about two miles away, probably here. And um, in one direction, I'd say more like 30 miles. Um, I'm really in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and so I've got an amazing amount of space. And I think that's been what's keeping me relatively sane, <laughs> just being able to be out in nature. I don't know if some of you are finding something similar. Um, I, if, if any of you are stuck at the moment in small flats in cities and towns and I, um, I really um, hope the situation improves really soon for you. I think, I think that would be my absolute worst nightmare and I'm so sympathetic for anyone who is in that situation. I think it must be horrendous. Um, so um, I'd like to play a tune which is about this um, just being out in nature um, and having all this freedom around you and um, it's about sailing on a summer's day around the Shetland Islands and it's a tune that was composed by the wonderful harpist Katrina Mackay and it was requested yesterday by Neil Johnson, thanks Neil <laughs> for requesting this tune and uh, I got Katrina's permission today, she, she emailed me back and said she didn't mind at all if I played the tune and, of course and um, so it's nice to be able to play the tune with her blessing. It's called the Swan LK243, which is the name of a ship in Shetland. It's quite a famous boat because it's it was actually sunk off the north coast of England and then it was pulled out of the water, restored and is now sailing again around Shetland. So it's become a symbol for Shetland regeneration. And Katrina was on the deck of the, the boat, the Swan LK243, one day with her harp. And she tells the story that it was as if the whole boat became the soundboard of the harp as she was playing. And she composed this tune for, for the boat. So for anyone who is stuck in a confined place at the moment, then maybe you can use this tune. I know it's a poor substitute for the real thing, but you can just... Imagine all that space <laughs> that's um, um, a sunny, sunny day out at sea sailing. I'm sure we'll all be, be back to doing these activities again very soon. Um, let me just do a little bit of tuning. The only problem with having, having a nice cosy fire is um, it puts the half out of tune. So um, this would be a good time for you to replenish your cups of tea. I have mine here. <laughs> I believe Tiffany even has fudge, which I'm very jealous about. That's not fair at all. I was I was going to make cake, but I didn't get around to it. So I'm stuck with just tea. But hopefully some of you have got cake. Or some of you, I think, were going for the wine option, which is also perfectly acceptable. <laughs> just let me do a tiny bit of tuning. Um, you can talk amongst yourselves and you won't even affect my tuning. <laughs> joke is always that um, half is spent half the time tuning and the other half playing out of tune which does have a kind of truth to it. Um, I'm, I don't know if there's plenty to a few other harpists watching here who can sympathise with me with me there. Um, Go 
with that. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've all replenished your mugs of tea. <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll play you The Swan LK243 by the inspirational harpist Katrina Mackay. She's always been an absolute hero of mine. And if you don't know of her, then check her out. Um, she's really leading the harp world at the moment. So um, this is her tune, The Swan LK243. And you can just imagine yourself out on a summer's day on the ocean. Thank you very much, Jochen thank you. <laughs> um, I'll just check a few of these messages, just to check that there's nothing um, I need to know. Um, oh, thank you, it's a message from Eirin and um, Sarah Gardner of Tommy Davidson, Doug. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, and um, my sister-in-law Sarah is saying that they've got tea and cake, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, great. Um, it's nice to know that you're, you're listening, Tom and Sarah, and Max and Lana, because I was thinking I might play a piece for Max and Lana, uh, my niece and nephew, next. And um, 
this is a piece that Lana sometimes asks me to play. Um, I don't know if you can guess which one it's going to be, probably. Uh, it's um, a tune that I composed when I got my car stuck in the snow some years ago. Um, as I say, I live in a very remote cottage here and normally most winters I do get snowbound at some point or other. And on this occasion, I got the car totally stuck. And uh, in the tune, you can hear hopefully the, the car attempting to climb up the slope and then <laughs> slipping down again each time. The tune is called Snow Chains, which is what I needed and what I didn't have <laughs> on that occasion. And then I'm going into a well-known session tune after that, a tune um, called The Mouth of the Topeak. I've got a two-part version of this French-Canadian reel, The Mouth of the Topeak, which I'm sure a lot of you listening will, will play and will know. So um, listen out for the car slipping around. So this one's for you, Lana. And Max. <laughs> okay, here we go. Snow Chains. Um, I'm not sure if the video is still working or not. It's my screen has gone blank suddenly. Um, maybe somebody could send me a message and tell me whether it's still working. Um, hopefully it is. Let's um, assume it is. <laughs> I'll assume it is working and um, see if any messages come through in, in a second. Um, um, 
seems like some messages are still coming, so um, I'll assume it's working and I'll use this little gap to um, swap to the other harp. So, um, I'll just shift the microphone over here for a moment and get myself in place there. Brilliant. So, hopefully, you can still hear me. The, um, the video has disappeared from my live feed, but I'll assume it's all right. I think somebody will inform me if it isn't. <laughs> um, um, people are saying, it's all good, Harriet. Oh, lovely. Okay, all fine still. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> okay, Lynn's giving the thumbs up. Okay, good. Lovely. It's obviously just disappeared from my screen temporarily, but hopefully it will come back. <laughs> so, um, my background as I said, was classical harp. Um, we were ready to ski at Delin Classirol, at Delin Vaurama, um, and Jos Dernanez, um, Panonin Bach, um, Kim Dechre, Cani Cadoriot Gwedaleg, and Llindain. So I started for about 10 years when I was young playing, playing this um, beast of an instrument, the pedal harp. And it's lovely to be doing this concert now because I am. Um, I get to play by all my harps. I have all my harps on the spot. <laughs> Normally, I, I can't be bothered to take this this beast around to that many concerts during the year. So it's rather nice to get a chance to play you some some classical pieces and some jazz as well, which is the other thing that this pedal harp is really good for. So I think I was thinking back and I reckon the reason I'm playing the harp today is probably because of some story tapes that I had when I was very little of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I don't know if some of you are familiar with those stories, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And um, I absolutely loved them. And I had an audio tape version um, read by Michael Horden with music by the fantastic Spanish harpist Marisa Robles. And she used a lot of famous classical harp pieces as the soundtrack for this, these story tapes about the Chronicles of Narnia. And so I think I just had this sound in my mind and I associated the sound with magic and adventure and really had, it had fantastic associations for me. And then when I had a chance to try a harp um, here in the village, actually, um, it was the first time I tried a harp. Uh, thanks, Beth. And <laughs> this, it was um, somebody in the village who let me try her harp. And I came back age seven and said, I've got to play the harp. And I think it was because the sound just, I'd found the instrument that created that sound that I'd had in my head from a, being a little chi child listening to the Chronicles of Narnia. And this piece I'm gonna play you next is a famous classical harp piece that Marisa Robles used for the Narnia story tapes. Um, so it was a really exciting journey for me as I was learning classical harp pieces because I kept coming across little snippets of tunes that I knew from, from the Narnia stories and this was definitely one of them. It's um, Felix Godefroy's piece, um, the Etude de Concert in E flat minor and any classical harpers out there will know this piece well. It's a big standard of the harp repertoire and it's always been one of my favourites. So um, it's great to have you here in my living room, <laughs> have the pedal harp here and I get to perform it to you. So, so this is Etude de Concert in E flat minor and hopefully it will just take you off into, um, well, for me, I always think of the Narnia stories. <laughs> you can think about what you like, but for me, it's it's magic and adventure and mystery. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. So that was some, some classical art music for you. Um, I'll just check this. Um, people can still see and hear me. Um, it looks like people can. Hopefully, hopefully you can. It says, um, it says on my end that they're having trouble playing the video, but I'll assume that all is well. Um, I've got my, my friends primed to send me messages if there's a problem, and nobody sent me a message, so I reckon, I reckon we're fine. <laughs> Great. So, um, hoffwn i canu rhywbeth arall o Gymru nesaf ar y ddelen, ddelen fawr yma. Um, I'd like to play something else from Wales now. And this is one of my all-time favourite Welsh traditional songs. And it's a tune that is very famous here in Wales. And we're ensured that um, Paul Bachonach Yama and Shara Kumraig and Gavaro Yawn are donama. My hundred and work, and it's called Mavanui, and it's a classic song of unrequited love. I'm afraid I've had a few stories of unrequited love in my time as well, so I can identify with this all too well. And it's all about. Um, um, a man Joseph Parry in Abristoth who fell in love with this girl called Mavanwi who unfortunately didn't fall in love with him and it's just one of the most beautiful songs of um, the word in Welsh is hiraith um, which means yearning or um, longing um, in that's come out of Wales so I learned this version from the the folk singer Ian Wynne Rowlands. Um, if you're listening Ian, thank you for your fantastic version. I don't think anyone sings it better than Ian does. And this is an instrumental version of Mavanwy. One of the, you'll hear a lot of Welsh male voice choirs singing this song. It's uh, exceedingly, exceedingly well known. So here we go. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you can still see some video. As I say, the video is totally gone on my copy, but um, hopefully you can. Um, oh, I've got um, somebody asking me, do I know David Watkins? Yes, I do. I've done a concert with David Watkins. Um, and um, yeah, I play his fire dance piece. I actually recorded that on my last trio, trio album. Talking of the trio, um, I really wish you were both here with me right now, Sam and Wal. Um, I play as a trio with a bass player and a drummer, Sam Christie and Wal Coughlin. And I'm really missing having all my musical colleagues around me. Um, I'd like to play you a piece that we normally do as part of the trio. And it's supposedly the first ever jazz harp solo to be recorded and it was recorded in the 1930s by a harpist called Caspar Riordan who is the harpist with Jack Teagarden and his orchestra and it was literally the first time that a harpist um, on a pedal harp like one of these had taken a break with a jazz band and it's a piece called Junk Man and this is the first track on our, our latest trio album, Alignment, that came out a couple of years ago. And as I say, with um, Sam Christie on drums and Wal Coughlin on bass. And we've recently been performing it with a tap dancer as well, Lee Payne. And it's worked really well with tap dance. And um, we've been doing it as part of a show called Harp and Tap. If any of you are interested to see um, Lee, Sam and Wall in this very room performing, then you can look on YouTube. There's um, uh, a video that was taken last year of all of us performing together here in this very, very living room. But unfortunately, they're not here tonight. So you've just got me. <laughs> and um, if either of you are listening in, Sam and Wall, I really wish you were here right now. <laughs> so but I'll do the best I can for solo harp. So it took me ages to transcribe this piece. I couldn't find any sheet music or anything. And I was really wanting to be authentic to what Caspar Reardon was playing and try and copy what, what he did. And this is, this is the result. So this is one of the first ever jazz harp solos to be recorded, um, Junk Man.
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. So that was Junk Man. I'll just check this. Um, things still seem to be working. Hopefully they are. Um, Oh, thanks, Tamsin. I can see Tamsin saying this is such a fun piece. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's great to know that it is working because, um, as I say, the video is totally gone for me. So it's quite reassuring that some people are still sending comments. So thank you. Thank you for being here and for listening. Um, if you've just joined, then my name's Harriet Eris and um, it's very lovely to have your company. So Diolch o Galon and Vordama. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just going to put a little bit more wood on the fire and I've got a few more pieces on the, the Celtic harp to play for you, if I may, before, before I finish. I'm just going to restock the fire for a moment. You can refill your glasses with wine or tea or um, fill your cups with tea and your glasses with wine. <laughs> OK. Mm. Mm. Most harpists would probably have spent um, yesterday practicing the harp for this concert, but I actually um, spent it chainsawing so that I had enough wood uh, for the fire. <laughs> so slightly strange priorities. <laughs> but um, I was talking to Ralph Clayman in Germany um, about this live streaming concert, and it turns out that he also uses a chainsaw. And he suggested we should start a Facebook group for harpists with chainsaws. <laughs> so if anyone else out there also is a, a chainsawing harpist, then get in touch and we'll, we'll have our own face, Facebook group, I reckon. <laughs> so let me move the, the microphone round back to the, the Celtic harp. Great. Oh, thanks, Nick. We've got a message saying it's all still working. Phew. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you at this point to Tiffany Evans and Nick Wiseman Ellis for helping me out last week and letting me do a little test to just see if the technology was working. I'm really grateful. I've got some lovely, lovely friends. I'm very, very lucky to <laughs> have, have such amazing people around me. And um, I'd like to to say at this point actually just a huge thank you to all the friends who've been keeping in touch such a lot over the last month and month and a half two months however long it's been feels like forever as i'm sure it does for all of you as well and i think one of the things that lockdown has really made me f remember is just how important supporting each other and family and friends and kindness are you know these are the important things in life and it's so easy in general busyness of everyday life to forget what our priorities are. And um, um, I'm very grateful for all the wonderful friends. You know who you are, but particularly Nick and Caroline and Tiffany and um, two different Carolines, in fact. And um, oh, I'm going to miss people out if I start listing people. But thank you all so much. It makes such a difference, particularly while I've been basically completely by myself it's made a massive difference to be able to share things with people over the last couple of months and i'm sure for a lot of other people who are also in lockdown isolation as i am it'll it'll mean a lot to have good friends and family around you and yeah it's it's so important as well to have opportunities like like this concert hopefully just to connect with other people and feel like we're all simultaneously doing something together again um I think it's these moments that I've really missed over the last couple of months. The um, the sense of connection, um, to play music with other people, to just sit and have a cup of tea with somebody and chat to them. You realise how important these little moments are um, in, in everyday life. And hopefully we'll be back very soon to to a world where, where we can do all this easily again. So... I'd like to play you another couple of Welsh things. And this next piece is one that I always associate with this room, actually. But normally I can't invite hundreds of people into, <laughs> into my living room to hear it in context. But um, this, um, this is a piece from the 18th century from here in Wales. And it's called Braid with David Rhys, the song of the dream sorry of David Rhys and it 
was composed in 1700s, early 1800s, and this house was built around the same period. So as you can probably see in the background, I've got big Inglenook fireplace and the open fire and um, up above, I'm not sure if I can show you, but I've got um, um, lots of beans with hooks on and um, I'm not sure what you can see because I can't see your camera, but um, <laughs> anyway, I've got lots of um, um, things to remind me of the 18th century really <laughs> and um, this this perfect context for this next piece so I feel like this is this is the right setting and it's lovely to be able to invite you in to experience the setting with me so this is an 18th century Welsh harp tune from an 18th century Welsh farmhouse <laughs> broadcasting to you <laughs> so this is Breithwyd David Rees That last tune was one that is an old Welsh tune, but I actually learned it on the Isle of Man. And I learned it from fiddle player Tom Callister. So thank you, Tom, for that tune. Um, and ever because he didn't have a name for it, um, ever since it's been called Hoffed Tom Manow, the favourite of Tom from the Isle of Man. And on the Isle of Man, any tune that's slightly weird, they normally say, oh, that's a Welsh tune. <laughs> Um, but this one genuinely does sound, it follows the form of most Welsh tunes, it sounds, sounds very Welsh to me. And if any of you out there have got a name for it, I would love to know what the name is. 
Um, but um, that's a tune that um, I learned on the Isle of Man. But it's but it's Welsh, <laughs> so sufficiently weird to to count as a Welsh tune. So coming towards the end of the concert now, um, let me just um, check that it's all working again. Hopefully it is. Um, I'm just going to call up a, a camera so that I can see roughly what what's happening here. Um, great, lovely. So. Um, so, um, I had another request yesterday um, from Tonya Fitz um, Johnson, and she wanted to hear a track called After Otters that I recorded on my first CD, Jumping Ahead. So, this one's for you, Tonya. It's made up of a reel called The Curlew, which you normally hear played at 100 miles per hour in a, a pub session but I've done a very slow dreamy version of the curlew and then it's going into a reel called the otter's halt Paul the madre ishka in Irish and I've always loved otters I've been absolutely mad about nature really all my life and one of the very special things the last couple of months has been I'm normally always on the road. I'm, I spend a huge amount of time travelling and on planes and trains and travelling all around Europe, particularly Germany. Um, last year I was 11 times to Germany, I think, and um, which is lovely to see all of you fantastic people in Germany. But it's been very nice during lockdown, I must say, to have just been able to observe the turning of the year here at home. And I've noticed the day that the swallows came back and the day that the bats came out of hibernation. And um, I've been here to witness the valley filling up with bluebells. It's at, I wish I could take you outside to show you right now. It's absolutely heavenly out there. It's the whole hillside is blue with bluebells. So just being having some time to observe nature has been fantastic over the last the last two months. Um, and this these two tunes um, for me so sum that up a little bit. I, I used to spend a lot of time as a little girl trying to see otters both here in the valley and also on holidays up in Scotland. So that was that was the inspiration for this track. Um, I think I've always been a bit obsessed with nature. So this is a track called After Otters, especially for Tonya. <laughs> Thank you. 
still I'm drawing towards the end of the concert I'm enjoying it too much I just want to keep going <laughs> but um, I don't want to outstay my welcome here but I've um, I've, I've had so long without giving a concert I'm just on a roll now <laughs> you're not going to get rid of me um, I've got definitely two other tunes that I'd quite like to squeeze in if you if you've all got time and um, I suppose one of the nice things about lockdown for me has been that all sense of urgency have got, has gone out of things <laughs> I've suddenly got time like friends phone me up and sort of say are you busy and I'm like oh, no I'm not busy <laughs> it's just been lovely to suddenly feel like oh yes I have time there is time for things um I've been very lucky that I've been I've still got an income at the moment during during lockdown although all my tours and concerts have obviously been been cancelled um I'm still teaching a lot of Skype lessons and I believe some of my pupils are watching now so I hope my technique is up to par you can tell me in, in the next harp lesson if it's not <laughs> but um, I'm trying to do practice all the things I preach relaxing my hands and bending my thumbs and whatever <laughs> but you, it's, it's going to be permanently on video now you can prove that I don't do some of these things <laughs> um ho hopefully not but um yeah so um so I've been in a very lucky situation anyway dur during this period um I know that a lot of people have been in you know are in very serious financial problems at the moment and I particularly felt sorry for anyone who's homeless at the moment and if any of you do want to donate um tonight um there is a little link in the blurb about the um the concert that you'll see at the side on the sidebar and um half of the money is going to Kundetas Golval which is the care society and they're an organization who are providing food banks and care for homeless people here in this area in Cerfigion in mid Wales um, so I'm going to talk about Cymru. I'm going to talk about Cymru. I'm going to talk about Cymru. They're a really, really good charity. I'm very pleased to support them. So if any of you want to donate to that, um, as I say, half half the proceeds of this concert will go will go towards that. And um, I didn't really want tonight to be about money. I wanted it to be about connection. Um, that's that's what's important to me right now. And, and I'm getting it. I'm getting a sense that um, there is a link here um, with all these people around the world. I, I know we've got some people listening from America, Ceci and um, Mick and Lynn in Florida. Hi, Mick. And so it's just lovely to have, have some of you here. Um, friends who I haven't been able to see for quite a long time. Um, and um, friends in Germany, of course, Nick and Finn, and um, Inga, and some other pupils in Germany, um, and um, some friends in France. Um, I'm not sure if Christine and Francois are watching, but if you are, then um, um, it's lovely to be here beside the, the wonderful fire that you helped me get. <laughs> and yeah, the, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely feeling, actually, to just suddenly have the world in my living room. It's very special. So... Um, Anyway, I will play a couple more pieces and then I will force myself to finish. <laughs> but I had some very good news this morning um, when I woke up because I uh, had a message from my cousin to say that um, my cousin Richard and his wife Lucy have just had a baby boy at 4am this morning. Um, Arthur, Arthur Bingham has joined the family and I wanted to play him a tune today. I thought it was such a lovely thing that um, this new life has come into the world. And it's particularly both poignant and special for me and for, I know a lot of, um, of family members who are maybe tuned in at the moment because um, today would have been my mum's birthday and um, she passed away some years ago. And um, I've obviously been thinking of her a lot today. And I'd wondered about playing a slow, sort of sad piece for her. But when I heard this lovely news about my cousin's baby, I thought, oh, no, what, what I should do now is play a happy piece. I think that's much more what she would have wanted. Um, so I'm going to play you a piece about new birth and new beginnings. And it's a piece associated with, let me just um, stop this, that's still working. There we are. Um, it's a piece associated with babies. Um, it's the Cradle Song, um, a lullaby from Scotland, mixed with the christening reel, um, an Irish reel. So I put this 
set together for a friend's baby's christening many years ago and I've recorded it and um, so I wanted to play it for little Arthur Bingham who was born in the small hours of this morning so this is the cradle song <laughs> So welcome to the world, Arthur Bingham. <laughs> that one was, was for you. Well, I've come to my last piece of the concert and I'd like to say a massive, massive thank you to all of you who've joined, joined us here. And um, I hope you've been enjoying some tea and cake or some wine and nibbles or whatever else you've been consuming <laughs> during, the, during the concert. Um, I've forgotten to drink most of my tea and I had a whole spare teapot waiting. Um, you should, I should show you my teapot, but I, had, I haven't. I was all prepared for, <laughs> I was all prepared to, <laughs> to keep myself fueled, but um, didn't, didn't quite, quite get round to it. Um, but um, I, I hope that you've um, enjoyed the evening. I certainly have enjoyed giving the concert and it's been um, a really special experience actually. So um, if any of you have any requests of things that I haven't played this time, um, it's a bit late now for tonight, <laughs> but I reckon I might be persuaded to do it again at some point soon, particularly if lockdown carries on much longer. So I will definitely take into account any requests for next time if there's anything you'd like me to play. and. I'd like to finish with one of my favourite sets. It's um De Madarn sind of Nidior Lievers Ma or Top of Dallin. Um I'm in Dan Gan Fiddler or Alban or Enu James Scott Skinner. And I went to Kevin saw the Peep Dance or Enu Arakrabat. So James Scott Skinner, the wonderful Scottish fiddler from Aberdeen, composed this next tune. It's called the Acrobat. It involves moving lots of levers on this sort of harp, but I didn't see why the fiddle players should have all the best tunes. So I've stolen it and put it on the harp. And 
Um, I heard um, Moira Nikahasi play this one years ago and really loved it and wanted to tackle it myself. So this is um, The Acrobat and then it's going into another Scott Skinner tune. I'm a bit of a fan of Scott Skinner's tunes. They've, they've just got lots of bounce and joy in them. And the second tune is called Carney's Canter. I do a lot of horse riding, so I wanted to play a tune that was about horse riding. So that's Carney's Canter. And then finally, um, I'm going back to Canada for my last tune. And it's a breakdown, a type of Canadian reel, by the fiddle player Earl Mitten. And one of the reasons why I wanted to finish with this piece was because Earl Mitten recorded the tune in the 1950s with his band and the name of his band was the Valley Rhythm Boys and I recorded this as the first track on my first ever album back in 2003 um, the album was called Jumping Ahead and the track I called Valley Rhythm and it seems quite appropriate for tonight because um, Obviously, I'm broadcasting to you from my, my home valley here, my favourite place in the world. And the rhythm of this valley has completely dictated my life over the last two months. Um, the weather, the, um, the, just the rhythms of the natural world outside has suddenly become my own rhythms. So I'll finish with this one, Valley Rhythm for you from, from a Welsh valley. So this is The Acrobat, Carney's Canter and Earl Mitten's Breakdown. And once again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. 
Oh, well, look, keep safe. Um, Cadwch yn saff, um, diolch o galon am amino fi heno. Mae wedi bod yn arbennig i gael eich cwmni chi. It's been absolutely fantastic to have your company tonight. Thank you so much to all the friends and family who've taken the time to listen in and join me virtually in in the parlour here. It's going to seem a bit quiet as I sip my sip my tea now in a minute <laughs> without all your company, but I've really appreciated having it for the last hour and a half. And um, enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you've still got cake to eat <laughs> or. Um, fudge brownies or whatever it was <laughs> very, um, I'm very very jealous of some of some of the um, the things people have been telling me you're eating <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have to get bacon tomorrow I reckon <laughs> anyway I hope I'll see you all in person very soon and maybe we'll meet again for a virtual concert as well um, at some point um, maybe next month who knows we'll see what happens but take care, look after yourselves, and thank you so much for joining me. Okay, good night, all the best. Diolch o galon. Um, brilliant.